All right, guys, so we got an update here on how Lewis's Power Wheels is going for the Power Wheels National Contest. I know it's been a while for the updates, but I wanted to wait till we had some uh, good progress made here to show you. So uh, the smaller progress here is the paint and the decals are pretty much done. Uh, that green there will get covered up. But we're doing this copper, uh, orange, and red theme. And we got all new uh, OEM stickers put on it, so that's cool. But the big update for today is the wheels. Um, so we got all the, the new wheels are ready, so I'm going to put those on and show you. Uh, there's three big things we need to do to this power wheel to make it uh, competitive. It needs better better wheels, uh, it needs better electrical systems, it needs better motors and gearboxes. So we'll have more updates on that. But for the wheels, so these are the original tires uh, that came with, or wheels, whatever you call them, that came with the power wheels. These are plastic, uh, six inch wide, uh, front and back. And uh, we want to get rid of these for a few reasons. Uh, the biggest reason of which is they're plastic, right? So plastic has a low coefficient of friction on concrete, it's about 0.3. Um, basically means it slips pretty easy, right? So you start putting a lot of torque on these wheels to try to make your power wheels go fast. These are just gonna sit here and spin, that's bad. So one of the things we wanted is we wanted all rubber wheels. Um, these also um, do not have any types of bushings in them. So the axles on this power wheels do not spin. Uh, the wheels instead spin on the axles. So you see this is the front axle, solid, and this is the rear axle here. Um, so the wheels are gonna spin on the axles. So you've got plastic rubbing on metal, creates friction loss, but it also wears it out. And the third reason we wanted new wheels was um, uh, just because of the horizontal loading it's gonna take. So when we're putting a lot more power behind us, a lot more speed, it's also having rubber. Um, these wheels are not really meant to take horizontal loads, right? So so they're meant to take loads like this way, this way, but not, not horizontal like this, right? So you get higher coefficient of friction in rubber wheels and you start moving them uh, side to side and the pins that hold these tires on, these, these plastic wheels on, were really not made to handle that, right? So these are actually, oh, there's our assistant. Oh, Scarlett, come here, say hi. Okay, she was there for a second, our little assistant here, supervisor, Scarlett. Uh, she's gonna be the co-pilot. So these are little tiny uh, R hitch pins here that held these on. So we want to do a way to get something you know, bigger for that. So, so the original wheels for the front, the axles are three fourths in the back and, and uh, uh, five eighths in the, or yeah, seven sixteenths in the front. Um, so smaller in the front. And so the original way these go on, so I'll try to just uh, hold the camera here, is uh, you just pick it up, you slide them on just like that and you just put this pin in that hole right there, right? So, the rear wheels are a little bit different. Um, they have this uh, hub right here, and the hub is to make it spin. So, so this is the gearbox, right? So this is what the motors spin. And as you can see, it's hollow. So again, so the back axle doesn't rotate like it does in the car. The wheels rotate on the axle. So this hub goes over the axle here, right? And the axles are just supporting the weight. And this part of the gearbox here meshes with um, the power wheels there, and that's what makes it spin. So that rear axle is going to go right through there and right out, you know, right out the back side. So basically, you know, that goes over there, right? So the new wheels we got are rubber pneumatic. Pneumatic is a fancy way of saying that there's air inside of them. Um, instead of just plastic or solid rubber. So the new wheels we got are, uh, these are 14 and a half inch. Um, those original ones are 13 and a half inch. Uh, so these will cover more ground per revolution of the wheel. I think it was about a seven and a half percent increase. Uh, so your top end speed will increase with larger wheels, which is good. And that's actually one of the reasons we chose the Dune Racer it's because the size of the fenders in the back were so big, they could accommodate larger wheels. A lot of the smaller power wheels um, that are lighter and better, they only have 12 inch wheels on them because you can't, can't fit more. So that's one of the reasons we chose this is to put bigger wheels on. So here we go. So these are uh, pneumatic 14 inch and uh, 14 and a half inch uh, wheels. And they made for a wheel barrel actually. And these ones were nice because they were flat on the hub here and they came handy with the bolt pattern, which made our lives easy. Here's the valve stem to put air in it. And then these are the bearings right here. So on the front we have uh, 5 8 inch bearings and the rear wheels we have 3 quarter inch. And there's the greaser. 
So these are not going, wheels don't spin on the axle like the plastic ones do. These spin on the bearing, right? And then the bearing stays. So this is much lower friction and it's a lot better for taking uh, horizontal loads, we call them like thrust loads, like, like side to side. These bearings will survive that a lot better. Now, the front ones here are five eighths. So what we had to do um, to make that fit is we had to 3D print an axle sleeve. Um, so that's what this looks like here. So that's the, uh, 3D printing is a huge part of the build that we're doing, uh, just buying the parts we want and making them fit. So this axle sleeve is going to go on the front axles. And it's going to increase the, uh, the front axle diameter from uh, 7 16th to 5 8 So we're going to slide our, our sleeve on there as such. And we're going to take our front wheel and we're going to... It's a little, a little tight there. We're going to put that on just like that. And then we're going to grab our new board on earth that I set those. We're going to grab our, we uh, put in some, we've got some washers here, make sure this thing is tight. And then we have our, uh, our new hitch pins right here. So to give you a size comparison, um, this is the original hitch pin that kept it on and this is the new one. So it's a lot a lot tougher you slide that on just like that and boom uh, your front tire is on now for the rears what we had to do is like I said that the weird rear tires move uh, with this nice plastic hub well we made our own plastic hub with 3d printing so you can see the similarities there so we printed a hub that's gonna mesh with this gearbox really nicely uh, might be a little harder to get this on to show you there we go it is a tighter tolerance but so rear axle three quarter inch is going to go through there uh, to support the weight and then this is where your motor will mount and so that works um, so we have our very own uh, converted hub on here which we have bolted on uh, to the face here um, if anyone watching this is, is uh, you know kind of a mechanic you're gonna notice that these bolts are actually too short they do need to be coming through these nuts uh, at least uh, two threads uh, it's a pretty standard. I, I goofed on that. I got to go buy some longer bolts for these, but it's on for the moment. So it's bolted on, and then your gearbox will sit right in there. I'm not going to put that on for the moment, but I'll just set this there. Um, and then, uh, and then we just got that. So um, similar on. The back side, we're gonna have uh, these big pins here that we'll, uh, we'll put on. And, and I might actually have to trim this back axle down uh, a little bit, it might be a little too long, but uh, that's fine. Uh, we can we can do that. So, so yeah, these are gonna be the new wheels. Um, front ones are totally done, the back axle might have to trim a little bit, and you just gotta get some longer bolts for that, but, uh, but yeah, they're ready and uh. Yeah, that is the uh, that is the update here on uh, yeah, that one's back here. Um, the tires. So again, this is one of the three systems that we are um, really trying to bank on to win the contest. Here is again bigger tires with better traction. So bigger tires because we want the top end speed to be higher. We want bigger diameter. We want better traction with the rubber, and then we want better electrical systems. And uh, we want motor, better, uh, better gearboxes, better torque. So, um, yeah, I will uh, keep you updated soon on the electrical systems.